lethal danger to the public at large because of bullets and high speed. After a third day of investigation about a sudden Sunday morning shoot em up. Basically it was a running gun battle. When they saw the vehicles, they were swerving at each other. They were firing shots at each other. Investigators are still counting bullets and processing firearms. More than 50 shell casings recovered at this point. We had guns recovered out on the highway. Yeah, I'm, I'm at stable late tonight. Okay. Shane Stout was up around four Sunday morning, right across from where bullets flew. At first it was a couple like pop, 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 and that was like rapid fire. And then more pops exchanging back and forth. A 23-year-old man was shot twice, critically wounded. It's not the type of scene that you would picture here in America. It's something more you'd picture in a cartel war somewhere with all these bullets flying and all these vehicles flying around. And they need to weigh it if they're worth it. Pastor Peterson Mingo lives about a block away from Montgomery and Brewster, where traffic flow is steady. We don't know if somebody was beefing with somebody. I don't know if there's a drug deal went bad. I don't know if there's a fight or an insult or whatever. But we do know. They just came flying through our neighborhood to the point of freeway. There's still debris from a car that crashed into fencing. Two other vehicles have been recovered along with several guns that were thrown out. Pastor Mingo's posting awareness about a youth resources event at his church on St. Patrick's Day to match jobs with young people ages 14 to 21. We're trying to get a head start on things that might start this summer. Uh, right now, there's been quite a few violent weekends in Cincinnati right in a row. This past one raised a lot of eyebrows without necessarily changing habits. I feel safe walking the streets. Police and community leaders want to keep it that way. So far, no arrests, and they've not released the name of the 23-year-old who was shot and is still critically wounded tonight. John London, WWT News.